Day in and day out, Sacred Heart Children's Hospital offers life-saving treatment to kids all across the Northwest. And thanks to the Children's Miracle Network, that hospital is able to throw in some special elements for those patients along the way. Emily Bloom shows us in this month's Miracle Monday. Often here in life, it's the little things. And for families who are facing tough situations at Sacred Heart Children's Hospital, those little things make a big difference. They had like this cute little pillowcase cover for her that was covered with paw prints and hearts. and hearts and told her like, you know, you get to take this home. They gave her stuffed animals, a book. Just six weeks ago, Reagan took a hard fall while doing what kids do best. Reagan was playing on the playground at school when she fell off of a ladder up to the play structure. When we went to the urgent care, they said, yep, she broke it and she broke it really good. <laughs> She needed surgery prior to a cast, and because this was Memorial Day weekend, Urgent Care warned Reagan's parents she may not get in until the following Tuesday. And that made me really nervous to have a child with a broken bone at home. But thanks to the goodwill of the trauma surgeons at Sacred Heart, they got Reagan in the very next morning. As a mom, it just makes you feel really good knowing that they're going the extra mile to make sure that emotionally she's comfortable and happy. The joy triggers along the way, like the pillowcase she still treasures today, provide a distraction. Meanwhile, her child life specialist, Nick Reed, provided direction for her care. She really went out of her way to make sure that Reagan was a part of her treatment plan and that Reagan's questions and concerns were answered. It's experiences like these that spark joy and appreciation along the way. We're able to look back on this traumatic experience and still see some exciting things or good memories along with it. Reagan isn't 100% just yet. Remember, this was only six weeks ago, but she shows how resilient kids truly are. It really hasn't stopped her. She's still taking piano lessons, doing swim lessons. She was really excited to go back to school as soon as she could. So kids are a lot tougher than I am. Thank you for everybody that helped me with my surgery. Yeah. The Children's Miracle Network does big and amazing things for very sick kids, but Karina says even the small things they do for relatively minor patients make a big difference too. If you want to help support programs like this right here in the Inland Northwest, you can donate to Children's Miracle Network and 100% of your donation will stay local. If you'd like to donate, we've made it very easy. Just find the donation page on KXY.com. Reporting in studio, Emily Bloom, 4 News Now.